So I'm up here in uh, Indianapolis at the airport, right? And uh, so you know I'm at the airport and I ain't lying. At least, you know, I'm at the airport. You can believe me if you want to. You ain't got to if it don't matter. It don't matter. But I'm up here at the airport and I'm chilling at the USO. Right there. And I get an agent from the TSA that come up to me and ask me, say, hey, do you mind helping us out? And I'm like, helping you out with what? It's like, hey, I got a bag with uh, some explosive residue in it. And we trying to see if the dogs are hit on, if the dogs are trained properly. So what we want you to do is we want you to take the bag and walk through the line like you checking in. I'm looking at this guy like, shit, I ain't about to do that, man. Y'all ain't about to take me. You ain't finna send me up, take me to jail. But you know, he's official. He got the he got the TSA logo on his shirt right here. Got the got the uh not DOD ID, but the government ID that looks similar to uh, look similar to that right there. And uh, he's like, and uh, you know the guy in the USO, he vouched for him. You know what I'm saying? Because they say you do this a lot. So I get the bag, and the whole time I'm still looking at this guy like, I'm gonna fuck you up if you set me up. I'm literally gonna, I'm gonna whoop your ass, right? That's how I'm looking at him. And uh, I go in there and I walk through the walk through the line, and the dog smell that shit. And the dog, you can hear the dog clawing at the ground, like the hill trying to get behind me, clawing at the ground, trying to catch up to me, right? And uh, with that being said, I uh, the dog done hit on the explosives in the bag, right? And they escort me to the back, just like they would do anybody else. Escort me to the back, and uh, you know, everybody looking at me like, "Oh Lord, this guy trying to blow up the place." You know what I'm saying? I got the mustache, the beard, and everything. I just got a clean cut. That's the only thing that make me look a little bit different is the clean cut. So I do that. And, um, Please help us maintain a healthy environment for our passengers, personnel, and visitors. I'm waiting to finish. And so they escort me to the back. And then he's like, all right, thank you, Richard. Have a good day. And then what he does is he turns around and he um, say, hey, we got another dog coming through. Want to do it a second time? I'm like, shit, yeah, I'll do it again. So I'll run through it again. And... Uh, for those passengers arriving in on Gulf Connection 6173 from Detroit. Bags are being offloaded shortly. Carousel number three on the lower level. And everybody looking at me Please like. Please check the oversized articles, such as golf clubs or skis. You can clean those across from carousel number one on the oversized belt. Please do take that moment to look at your tag. Match to take on your bag as many bags do look alike. Once again, if you're arriving from Detroit, Delta Connection 6173, bags be offloaded. Carousel number three shortly. And so everybody over there looking at me, cause it's full now. It's packed. People looking at me and literally everybody stopped. I'm the only one still walking and the dog is clawing behind me. It's a new dog. He clawing behind me. Man, everybody looking at me like I'm some type of uh, domestic terrorist or some shit. But, you know, for me, as long as it keeps people safe, you know what I'm saying? If it's in training, you know, and it's legit, I'll help out. Ain't got no problem with that. That's why I joined the military. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I wanted to be a police officer, but, you know, they said I couldn't do it because my, my, my speeding tickets I had got back 12, 11 years ago. But anyways, that's all I got for y'all today. Peace.